Have you ever wondered if your life would be much better if you just moved to Bali? Well, I moved here two years ago. So in this video, I will explain to you if the life is actually better here in Bali than in the Western world and what I think after a few years. <laughs> And of course, life in Bali is way different than in Europe or US or any Western country. And some of the ways makes it so much nicer to live here, but there's also some negatives. So after this video, you have a better idea if it's worth for you to move to Bali and change your life completely. We are working here in La Brisa today. It's just a really awesome place. Look how chill it is. Just love it. Last week reminded me why Django Bali is just the best place to live. I just have an awesome week. Like in the Monday, I was doing boxing and it was just really great with this coach. It's only like $9 for one hour private lesson anywhere you want. It's so damn tough to do boxing with Surya, but it feels so good last time after that. Session just feels so much better for the next few days. It's just amazing how many nice activities you can do in Bali and it's just crazy affordable like surfing for example is only three dollars for two hours port rental and it's just crazy how free you are to do almost anything with like just a little bit of money. And after that we had a men's circle and it was just great that there's so many people you can meet in Bali and like like-minded people, people all around the world, many different kind of business people so you can really learn so much you really have a different world view after meeting all the people who are doing way different things and way different stories it's just so easy to meet people i feel like anywhere i go it's just somehow you end up meeting people and talking with people like in a cafe or when you go play paddle for example that's like the best way to meet people of course that's one thing that is a bit difficult here to have like a really good friendships that last for long because people usually come and go but still two years now and i have made many friends who are not always here when i'm here but they're always coming back so it's also possible here but that's one negative and what i like about bali comparing to the other countries in southeast asia there's a lot of tourists but there's also so many people who live here long term who already live here for years and have a dock here and villa here and everything so there's a lot of lot of people you can meet who actually stay here long term and of course life is a little bit less mundane in this kind of scenery and like eating good food in Bali and also yesterday we were in the gym and it's just really awesome place I go to the Obsidian and it's nice that there's so many like-minded and hard-working people who go there is this really nice vibe to work out there and also just really awesome views to the rice fields and I was just thinking when we're doing ice bad in the infinite pool view to the rice fields and ice bath and everything people chilling there after gym is just really awesome like there's nothing like that in the west i never seen and this gym is actually a little bit more expensive but still it's okay for the experience it's just really awesome And one of the things I love the most about Bali is just the scooter, like going around with the bike is just so easy and quick to go anywhere. And it's just a real freedom, it's so much nicer than anywhere in the West, like there's no commuting or anything, like you just go with the scooter, it's a few minutes anywhere. And also the fact that the food is really affordable, so you don't need to cook, so you save a lot of time. And also, for example, you don't need to clean because in the guest houses and hotels and resorts and villas, they always have a cleaner here and it's included in the price. So you don't need to waste time on cleaning, cooking, commuting, anything, like it's just really efficient and you can focus on what's important in your life. But yeah, I came to do my such now in this one of my favorite places it's so nice that it's so affordable that i can do it like once a week because i really need it after all the work i do in the computer so it's, yeah just on time for sunset it's a nice spot here in chango it's weekend so it's really busy and it's nice here you can watch the surfers and chill and I feel so much better after the massage it really helps to do it once a week it's such a nice thing that in Bali like massage and so on and ice pad and everything like just taking care of myself but it's affordable and nice and one of the greatest things about moving to Bali is of course the cost of living especially in the beginning if your dream is to have your own business and you're just starting out you're probably not gonna make that much money in the beginning so what a greater chance to live in a place that the cost of living is just like one thousand to two thousand dollars per month for like still an awesome lifestyle so yeah that's really important and valuable in the beginning to be suddenly surrounded by so many like-minded people who work online and have their own businesses uh, I remember moving here from Finland I was just so amazed by like all the connections I made and all I learned from other people and just the vibe of like working on your own business and everything but it's not all perfect sometimes it's just too much fun and too many activities to do here so you don't focus on the business so much but if you stay disciplined it's quite a perfect place to start on your business but what I also like about living in Bali that there's no need to have like a goal to make insanely big amount 
of money to have like a nice life as you dream of. For example, for me, I'm pretty much living already my dream life. So the only thing that is missing that I really want to have my own villa, like a nice dream Bali villa, like build something new or buy something new. But even that is going to cost only like 100 to 200 thousand dollars. So that's definitely a benefit in my opinion. So you can more focus on having a job and work that you really enjoy and find meaningful. I go play paddle soon, so just quickly getting some food and getting some editing done here in Almond, one of my favorite places to work, it's really beautiful. And it's just a really peaceful area here. And yeah, the locals are the best here and also just generally people are more open-minded here and there's not really any like uh, big political problems or crazy inflation or wars or anything. And yeah, if you can make money online, it's just the best place to be based at. But of course, like building your own business and starting it from zero, it's also very stressful. So it's not for everybody, but in my opinion, it's very much worth it. And if you want to learn more how I went from zero dollars to five thousand dollars plus per month income while living in Bali and also just get the behind the scenes look to my life and business here you can check out my patreon i'm creating a lot of videos there to provide more value for you and teach you everything i know time to play paddle it's really fun in bali to play and do a lot of activities it never really gets boring here and that's what i love about bali also like there's so many destinations you can go you can go to uluwatu you can go to ubud you can go to the islands like nusa penida and there's just so much to do it's really amazing life here We just hit the gym and now we came to the Motion Fitness Food for some protein. Looks amazing. The life really never gets boring in Changu. It's a really awesome place to stay, but also it's a good place for working and business. Like it's easy to make connections with people and different businesses. There's nice Wi-Fi anywhere and also there's many cafes that are nice for working and also there's many co-working spaces that are nice. So yeah, for working also it's pretty perfect. Look at all this goodness. When you come to Bali, you really need to try the protein waffle, it's insane, it's just so big and full of everything, it's amazing. And honestly, one of my favorite things about Changu and why I still enjoy living here more than anywhere else is the food and the restaurant options. The food options are basically best in the world and also really, really affordable. One of the most affordable places, only Vietnam was more affordable, but here is just way more options. And Changu is like a, it's like a city, there's a million options for food, so many restaurants, cafes, bars, everything. And the coffee is really good in Changu, there's so many good options for coffee and also for food there's just so many options and healthy options that's one of my favorite things about Changu that there's so much healthy food so it's really easy to stay healthy that it's easy to order food there's so many options there's many like fitness cafes protein smoothies like there's so many different restaurants you can always get basically whatever you want you can find from Changu so there's no place like Changu and there's of course so many nice restaurants and beach bars that are nice to hang out with people and meet with people so yeah it's pretty awesome and I used to think that in Bali healthcare and practicalities and many things are a little bit difficult and not so good but actually what I see in these two years there's good hospitals there's good clinics there's big malls there's good pharmacies there's also even tokopedia and shopee where you can order pretty much anything online even medicine and everything so it hasn't actually been bad at all i have nothing to complain about but you of course need to travel or nomad insurance because it can be quite expensive to use the clinics and hospitals here but yeah i recommend safety wing that's what i'm using i think it's definitely the best insurance for digital nomads and people who are traveling long term so as long as you have that it's pretty much all good and you can also check my bali guide for all the tips and tricks how to stay healthy and safe here in Bali. And the next thing that is a little bit difficult nowadays is the accommodation because Bali has been so busy since they opened up after the pandemic that there's not so many options anymore. And one reason why the prices went up so much is that there's enough people staying here short term now like travelers and tourists. So it's hard to find a place that offers a monthly price anymore. But definitely there's so many awesome places to stay in Bali but the price can be a little bit higher. But also for the more affordable accommodation there's still some options like where I'm staying now is like 500 to 600 dollars per month and it's really nice design, it's comfortable it's also a great location close to the beach so i can imagine just still in most places in the west it's going to be impossible to find even anything like this for this price with this location and cleaning included and everything so i'm not really complaining and there's also many places that are even more affordable but then they're just not as nice and again you can check my bali guide to see all my recommendations for accommodation also tips how to find the best places and how to get the best deals
And one reason I really love living in Bali is the docks because there's so many street docks and just docks you can just get to know even if you don't own the docks. So if you love docks, it's gonna be a really awesome place for you. It's easy to make dog friends and just go see them and they're always so happy because they don't see you all the time. And generally I don't know any place that is just so complete like Changu is that there's everything you need for an awesome lifestyle and even building your business. So that's why I love to live here. But anyway, if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe and see you next week.